Let's see. It's raining outside, so I can't do anything. So what will I do now? What can I make a video about? Maybe you'll get any ideas from the subscriptions? Uh, uh, I'm not saying anything. Well, I guess I'm not gonna make a video. I think I know what I'm gonna do. Hey guys, Sweet Slanted here, and I have not really talked about my love for this game. Shovelite. Cue the epic music. You guys can't see, but right now I am conducting the air. Shovelite is my favorite, without a doubt, my absolute favorite game of all time. No exceptions. And some people might go, wait a minute. This looks like an old NES game. You are correct. Show Knight was designed in that way. Are you one of those crazy people that think that retro games are all the best? No. I didn't really grow up with retro games. See, my first game was okay. So my first game was Sonic 2, but that was only retro game I had because the next game I got was Sonic Heroes. Yeah, if anyone remembers that thing, that old repetitive thing where it's just the same levels. Over and over. Anyway, Shovel Knight came out back in 2013, 2014 for uh, systems other than uh, the original launch. And it was Kickstarter backed and has become very popular, including getting a positive rating from Zero Punctuation and getting the first perfect rating for Trailer Drake. And most, if not all reviews I've seen, have rated it 8 and up. So, what's so great about this game? Well, it starts off with the classic, the damsel in distress situation that most early games had, such as Mario, and you start off as the titular hero, Shovel Knight, a follower of the Code of Chivalry. And yes, this game is filled to the brim with parts, part of the reason I love this game. Love that part. But what I like the most about this game is it doesn't require graphics. It doesn't require a straight up narration. It builds story throughout the game on its own. Without narration, without game breaking things. You learn from the game itself and not just you don't just learn the control wire. You learn everything. From the character's relationships to the different attitudes of all these characters. It's not like a Mega Man boss where you just go into a room and they're just like, alright, fight, 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 fight. Who am I fighting right now? All I know about you is your quick man. And Shovel Knight, so you actually have dialogue that establishes where everything is. And Shovel Knight is also 
for a mere like ten dollars, you get the campaign with Shoy, campaign with Plague Knight, a game mode plus, which is basically everything's much harder. Double damage from enemies, double health for enemies, and half as many checkpoints. And absolutely no healing items other than what you bring with you in a level. Well, except for health counts. And then, if that wasn't enough, then you also get in the near future, a yeah, King Knight campaign, a Spectre Knight campaign, and a gender swap, which they have not exactly specified. But from what most can guess, you play through the game as Shield Knight, to Shield Knight's beloved. I could go on talking about this game forever. So much good okay. designs excellent I mean just look at this background look at this background look at this background beautifully designed excellent music it's just great in fact the writers paid attention to so much detail that this soundtrack despite how great it sounds, could be played on an actual NES. A real NES. Hmm. You get that soundtrack just right. Uh, anyways, guys. It's just... Enjoy some of the trailer. This is Sweet Slandit. Have a good day.